Hey everyone, Cleo here. This is Bookmas Day 24. I cannot believe this is the end of Bookmas. Uh, this is the final video I have to shoot for it. Uh, I still have the 24 Days of Christmas book tag to edit and put out there. So you'll still be getting some content from me. I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't done any editing on it, so I'm not sure whether I'll be able to make it for the 25th of December. Maybe it will be coming a little bit later. Uh, but still, yeah. <laughs> and then something that you definitely also still need to be looking out for is uh, at some point uh, when I finish my last book for 2018, I will also film the uh, overview of all the books that I read in 2018. Uh, and then uh, I guess it's already time for the January TBR. However, I know I still want to maybe film also a um, uh, book versus movie for, two uh, for December because I haven't f filmed any. Um, but so yeah. That's that. For today the uh, prompt is to discuss your reading goals for 2019. Now I've never had reading goals. I started my channel in like uh, August and uh, I also didn't go into it with a plan. I just said okay let me try it out. Let me see how it works. Uh, it was the first times that I had to do TBRs because I'm very much of a mood reader. I normally never do TBRs but I said okay I want to try it out and see. I have mixed experiences with it. I mean it is pretty much what I anticipated in advance. I can put myself goals but I usually diverge from the plan. <laughs> and so uh, if you see my video from yesterday you also know my uh, crazy ambitious um, start TBR for 2019. So uh, I definitely don't want like I don't think anybody has this. Uh, my TBR for 2019 is not a conclusive list of every book that I want to read in 2019. It is a plan for certain books. So in my case the goal was mostly to reduce the number of uh, unread books on my bookshelf. So uh, I will probably get to you guys in 2019 with a video of the way that I organize my bookshelves. But in any case I have uh, a I have a quite uh, atypical organization system because I haven't seen it yet on booktube in the sense that books that I haven't read will be more to the front and books that I uh, have read I will move back to the, to the back of the shelf. And so it gives you a very visual overview of the amount of books that you still have to read versus the books that you have read. And I always feel like, I mean, this is also part of the system, of course, that the ones that you haven't read really pop out. And I always feel like I have so many that I haven't read on there. And uh, that's why I made this that list of 19 books for 2019. And all of those 19 books had to be on my shelf. So they had to, they didn't all have to be unread books uh, because I have two rereads in there. But uh, the goal mainly was to get rid of a lot of unread books on my bookshelf. So 17 books that are currently standing to the front should be moved to the back by the end of 2019. But if you've seen that video, you also know that uh, I counted the page count for all of those books and it ended up being like 10,660 uh, pages, which is very like relatively close to the overall amount of pages I'm reading in 2018. So yeah, um, that's quite ambitious. You know, I really want to say that uh, Booktube is making me read more and I definitely feel like it's making me read more, but it doesn't really necessarily reflect itself in my Goodreads. I mean, I was so much better at uh, staying on track of uh, Goodreads this year and like usually towards the end of the year I have to start reading like super short books just to reach my Goodreads goal. And this year I thought I was going to up it by one book, but uh, then it took forever and still taking forever to finish a book of 170 pages. So we'll see. I mean, I can say that it's definitely uh, improved my uh, feeling of wanting to get to books. Um, but I don't know whether it's actually really making me read more at the moment or not. But so in any case, uh, so those 19 books, if you want to go and check out my video from yesterday, I will link it down below. But so those 19 books are uh, part of my goal for 2019. So I really want to get rid of a lot of these unread books on my shelf and uh, the plan is to... <sighs> Kittens. The plan is to uh, schedule in two of these every month and then uh, by the end of October I should be done with these 19 books. Uh, hopefully I will also have had time to read other stuff, especially since in my 2019 TBR, as I said, I only included a, I only included books that I own. And uh, if you've seen the video from the day before, I talk about my most anticipated. Oh, that's great. One second. If you check out my video from the day before, uh, you'll see that I talk about. <sighs> 
the video. So in the video of the day before I talk about the um, books that I'm most looking forward to in 2019, the new releases. And I have quite a few of them in there and not all of them are small neither. Yeah, now you're gonna start, aren't you? <laughs> but um, so yeah, 2019 is looking to be as much chaos as this video is turning out to be. But so yeah, I'm hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping to get to at least the majority of those uh, 19 books and to get to a lot of new releases. I will already say that I'm not the type of person who usually gets to a lot of new releases just because I'm usually just playing catch up with other books uh, and my TBR for 2019 has definitely not left me any room for this. So usually I read about 35 books and trying to up the ante in 2019 and I will go for 40 books, yes upping the ante by five but uh yeah if i've already finished those 19 books i will have already finished like 10,660 pages uh if i then add like the new releases i don't really remember how many they were but like let's say there were let's say i'm getting to like six new releases then i've gotten like to 25 and <laughs> hopefully i'll still have room to fit in 15 very very short books <laughs> but so yeah um more importantly, uh, I have a page count goal, so if I don't reach my like book goal, that's fine by me. The page, the page count goal is to get to 15,000 books, uh, 15,000 pages, <laughs> definitely not 15,000 book, books, but so 15,000 pages, um, just because, yeah, my page count is usually somewhere in the 12,000 or 13,000, and I would like to get to that very nice uh, figure of 15,000. Um, what else? Uh, I want to up the ante on my channel. I want to go to two videos a week. So uh, for Bookmas, I've been filming every single day, uh, and well, not filming every single day, but more or less, and editing a, a lot. And I've, I mean, it's been a very, very busy month for me, and it's very much taken a toll as well. But it's also made me realize that perhaps I can uh, do more than I'm curr I've currently been doing. So before this, I was doing one video a week. And so I will try to go for the two video a week um, format <laughs> to, for my channel uh, and hopefully that will also get me some more subscribers and some more um, because you'll see that I'm putting out more regular uh, content. Now I don't have any like specific um, goals for like how many subscribers I want to get on my channel because yeah. I'm growing very very slowly and so I don't want to like put myself a certain goal and then not make it so then I feel that it'll just make me say like okay um, maybe it's time to call quits on the channel I do really just want to continue going and hopefully I can uh, continue telling myself that it's worth doing this even though like maybe two video two people watch my videos a week or something like that but I mean at least those two people are out there so Hey, if you're one of those two, way! <laughs> Welcome to my video! Um, any other goals for my uh, reading for 2019? Yeah, one of the major goals uh, is to get back more into fantasy. So I feel like part of the reason why I have uh, gone down in the amount of books that I read is fantasy. So uh, fantasy has always been the major genre that I read. But I also got into like a fantasy slump because most fantasies tended to be uh, they tended to repeat the same tropes, the same uh, seem to be the same characters but just different names and things like that. And so uh, I really want to return to fantasy to have more fantasy in my TBR again and hopefully find the joy in fantasy again. Another reason why my TBR, uh, why my amount of book spread has been decreasing is because I'm not allowing myself to read romance anymore and I'm gonna stick to that one because uh, romance is fine and all but I also find it super addictive and I find that there's not a lot of value in reading it. I'm definitely not saying if you read romance like uh, why are you reading romance there's nothing to it. I understand it. <laughs> I'm saying it's super addictive. I really like re liked reading it and I felt like uh, you could just slide through it and everything like that. But at the end of the day I was feeling like I was rereading the same story over and over again or like the same three stories over and over again just with new characters and that uh, I was just not getting anything out of it and for me that is a reason for me to stop reading romance so much because then I just felt like at the end of the year yes I've read like so many books but 
in all honesty, I didn't feel like I had read a lot because for me it feels like these romance books didn't count. And I'm definitely not saying that they shouldn't count and that they're not worthy or anything like that. Just to me, I was always left feeling... Ah, <sighs> come on. I was always left feeling that uh, I was wasting my time with them. But so uh, I'm continuing to steer clear from them just because for me I feel I get a lot more out of fantasy for example and uh, literary fiction definitely. But so I definitely understand that a lot of people have the same about fantasy that they feel like they're not reading anything because it's like a fantasy universe and things like that and they prefer reading something about the real world. Um, but so yeah, uh, I think that kind of sums up my reading goals for 2018, uh, 2019, damn it, it's 2019 soon, 2019. But so yeah, this is pretty much my sum of uh, what I'm currently feeling like are my goals for 2019. Definitely let me know what your goals are, are for 2019, and I might get some inspiration out of them. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, do, do definitely hold me accountable if you see me putting uh, a lot of books on my TBR that like are not on my 2019 TBR. You're allowed to point this out. I won't change my TBR, but I'll at least feel guilty about not putting it in there. So if you want to make me feel guilty, feel free. Uh, so see you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know when my next video will be. <sighs> I will now have to strangle a kitten. No. <laughs> I'll have to sadly just put the bells back into the Christmas tree. I hope that the kitten will uh, find something else to play with. Bye!